hi, uh, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to paint the four blue mechs for the game of Scythe. Um, I'm using a very limited set of equipment. Um, I basically only have, I think it's four paints, a primer, two paintbrushes, and a, and a makeup brush, um, as well as some tweezers and a little bit of sponge. Uh, I'm starting off by just covering all the models with primer. This just helps the paint stick to the plastic better. Um, you can see I don't really, like I'm being very messy with it. Um, it's simply to cover the whole model. Uh, and there's no real issues if you get onto the base because you can cover it all up later. Um, the important thing is to not make, to make it too thick. Uh, you want to still see the details of the model um, and to make sure that the whole model is covered. Next up, we are base coating the models. Um, I'm just using a, a blue that I have. It's a, a darkish blue, which is good for a base coat, as we'll come through with a lighter blue later um, for some highlights. Uh, once again, I'm sort of just covering the whole model. Um, this is primarily because I, I know that the main color is going to be blue with some sort of black details later, so I can cover the blue easily with the black paint. Um, so yeah, I'm not being very careful, just trying to cover the whole model. Uh, once again, try not to make it too thick, otherwise you lose the detail, but um, you know, if you do put too much on, you can always come back with the brush and just smooth it out. Um, I'll do this for the rest of the models. Next up, we're doing the black details. Um, for these models, I'm just going to do the, the gun barrel as well as the leg joints. Uh, I think less is more um, when it comes to this. You're just trying to prevent it, the model from being entirely blue, um, which can be quite boring, even if it is highlighted nicely. Um, so just being a bit more careful here, um, you'll see I'm using a finer brush uh, and just trying to pick out those details and, and not cover too much of the blue. If you do happen to cover the blue, you can always come back with it once the, the black has dried and, and just fix up any mistakes.
Now we're going to cover the models with uh, an all over black wash. Uh, I'm using Nelm oil. Um, I think it's a, it's a pretty decent option for beginners. Um, you can see me fighting with the lid because of the weird Citadel paint bottles. Um, but yeah, basically you're just going to cover the whole model with this, um, trying to get into all the nooks and crannies. Um, the, the point of this is to, to create some depth to the model so it doesn't just look blue and you can sort of see the outline of, of the actual figure. Now we're going to do a dry brush with a lighter blue. Um, if you don't have a lighter blue, just mix one with white and your blue. Um, basically, I'm just using a small makeup brush, targeting the, the blue areas of the model. I don't really want it on the black if possible, especially that big um, cannon, as realistically you wouldn't have blue uh, highlights on a, on a black piece of metal. Um, I think you do realize, you, you'll notice I do go over it a little bit, and that's just to bring some colour into it, but um, if possible avoid it where you can. Uh, you you want to go in a sort of top-down motion, and that'll just help you catch all those ridges uh, and all those little details that are in the sculpt. Next we're going to do some weathering. Um, I think this is the final step that that really brings the quality of the paint job up. Um, basically I'm just using a little bit of metallic silver paint, uh, just washing off the brush there, but I'll, I'll be grabbing a small sponge, tiny as you can see, uh, and just using some tweezers to hold it. Um, I'll dab some paint onto it and, and make sure it's relatively dry so I'm not going to be making huge uh, splodges of paint. Um, and I'm just going to sort of focus on where I think the the mechs would have where. Um, so you'll see I, I, I particularly target the bottoms of the feet. Um, obviously that's going to receive a lot of wear through use, but also most of the edges of the armor plating would also have wear. Um, I also try and target the base of the cannon and wherever the joints are, um, as you would expect that anything that moves is going to have some some level of wear when it's, you know, a giant mech.
and this is the finished product. Um, it didn't take very long at all, uh, less than an hour for, for all the models. Um, you saw one model for each step, but um, usually it was slower because I was in front of the camera. Um, I think the outcome is really good for a simple paint job. Um, I haven't done the bases, they can just be painted either black or blue. Um, but yeah, I think I think the weathering really adds to it, makes it really simple and really easy. Uh, and it sort of shows that it's quick and easy to do without much effort. Thanks for watching.